Hey yo YouTube, how's it going? Good morning, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Jay Chubbs and we are here to kick off the first series on this channel. We're going to be playing Monster Sanctuary. It's a game that I'm really familiar with. I've played it multiple times since uh, early release, early access I should say. And uh, yeah, now that the game has been fully fleshed out from start to finish, um, I really just want to play it all the way through. Um, experience the full game in one in one playthrough and uh, just share the experience with you guys so I'm not gonna waste any time because um, I do want to get as much content from the game um, as as much content as possible in one episode so uh, yeah like I said we're just gonna dive in uh, let's just go ahead and do a new game if I can get my there we go alright uh, keyboard wasn't working there for a sec New game, new game, no worries. As you can see, like I've been playing this game a lot. I have multiple accounts. Um, I'm sh let's let's just brand new one. Why not? Um, we'll go ahead and do that guy. Just type in Chubbs because it's easy, easy, and it's nice to do. The monster sanctuary is a land fall from any other human civilization. No, we don't want to skip. There's a skip option behind the webcam. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. I just, I love this game. The art, the creatures, it's so much fun. Super excited to be playing this. On the channel. Most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in the Keeper's Stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. Let's go. They call themselves Monster Keepers. Which I think is a, a cool title. Instead of like a trainer or like a, a tamer or something, you're a keeper. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. So if we're if we're talking in terms of like I don't know, comparing this to another let's say if we compare this to like Pokemon, this this would be our starter. Uh, our starter option. So you have the Spectral Wolf, who is water and wind. You have the Spectral Eagle, who is Fire Wind. You have the Toad, who is Earth Water. And then you have the Lion, Fire Earth. Um, for the sake of this playthrough, and just to choose a creature that I'm least familiar with, I'm going to go with the Eagle. Um, I've had plenty of files where I've done the Toad and the Wolf. I think I'm just going to say, you know what? Eagle. Kaka, let's go. <laughs> Among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Cool, cool, cool. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. So we're, we're part of that bloodline. One of them, anyway. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Haha, -ha, I love the art. Me, Chubbs, is starting out to become a monster keeper like his ancestors before him. As with all starting monster keepers, his journey begins on Keeper's Trail. I almost called it Trial because I can't read. His bloodline familiar bears the form of a spectral eagle, Kaka, chicken nuggets. Um, you know what? I was, I was, nah, also, name your familiar. I would love to, if you would let me. Do, yeah, there we go. Uh, no. You can't name an eagle, eagle. What is happening with my... I didn't have this issue the other day. It's fine. Uh. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? It's like the input for the, the keyboard is different. Kaka! Sure. What? Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is to bond share with your family. What? Not even like, it's supposed to be like a phoenix or something, like an eagle. Like a majestic bird. And I've literally turned into a parrot, so... That's, that's going to happen for the rest of this point. <laughs> You're going to hear, Bwah. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you, Bwah. That's why you must always raise your own, Bwah. They will grow alongside you. <laughs> I will fight, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to read everything, um, <laughs> but you guys can definitely read. Read it, read, read it as you want. <laughs> Initiate for a contact, Bwah. We'll see if you live up to your ancestors, Bwah. All right, let's dive into the fighting. Hopefully, the hopefully the audio is not too loud for you guys. Um, 
I always have like so my my headset audio um, is gonna be different than what you guys hear on, on the on the recording capture so hopefully it's it's okay if not I think I can edit that in post so that by the time you're watching this it should be all balanced and smooth and wonderful and not breaking anyone's eardrums. Cool, cool. There you go. You see the blobby. Now you need to hatch a blob like a chicken egg. <laughs> Open the menu and try to hatch it. Uh, okay, okay. Um, inventory blob egg. Hatch a blob egg. So there, that's how you do it. It's, so I know I kind of did that whole like tutorial fight pretty quick. So the idea is that the better you play in a fight, um, there's a, there's the five star rating system, and the better you play, the you make the right decisions, use like super effective attacks and good combos and things like that, um, you get a higher star rating. And I think it's like three to five stars is the range you want if you want to get eggs um, to essentially like capture and train. So for the tutorial though, it's super easy to just do that. Um, so, like, this, the, the, the blob is the default that you will always get, no matter how you play. Um, but for the sake of later on in the playthrough, when I'm, like, trying to actually build a team, yeah, I'll be going for, like, the, I'll be going for the best star rating, so we guarantee to get creatures. Um, so the blob, let's name him, um, Gluorp. Gluorp. And he'll sound like, like you step on a, I don't know, step on something that, like a wet diaper or something. I don't know. That's your first monster. I right know it's weak, so you need to train him. Much for you to learn, too. You see that blob and I, he just called me a blob. Or she, it, the bird just called me a blob. Or compared me to a blob. I am the wet diaper. I am the Alright, here we go. Let's do some fights. Why not? Try to make sure that we stay on track in terms of time. We're doing good. I I'm i I'm looking to be um for as, as far as the the amount of time that we spend per video, I'm thinking twenty five to thirty minutes. Just because this game is pretty big and I feel like Trying to, trying to stay between 20 and 25 is going to be a little too small. Uh, it's going to be too short of a time to get enough content. Because um, otherwise you'll just see me doing fights like this the whole time and won't see any plot. And so it's like, I, I want to make sure that we have enough diversity of content here. Because these battles can take a while, especially later on. So, I don't, I don't want... I can't wait to get anything, but I, I, I just, I don't know, I don't want to do just fighting the whole time. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you'll get a rating of one five stars, and then just like, just like I explained it, so. So maybe I should let the game just do the explaining. Uh, we got these monuments here that kind of give you an idea of some of the history behind the game, and or some of the history behind the Keeper's Trail, just a little bit of lore. That's what I'm going for. Young Keeper, tis the Keeper's Trail's beginning. For all of man, beast and sanctuary has beginning. Well, oh, that's right. I forgot he was here. All right, so both of these monsters, the Magma Pillar and Rocky, are great. I just really want Rocky. I love Rocky so much. I don't know why, but he uh, he's just great. I love Rocky. All right, Rocky Road. That's not going to be his nickname, but I want Rocky. I want Rocky so much. Like, if I don't get him right here in this fight, I may grind off screen and, until I have one on my team. So, that's that's just how much I love this little dude. Just look at him. I mean, well, he's gonna be gone now, but... It's just like taking this style of art and making something so perfect out of it. I just love it. Oh, I'm gonna crack the neck a little bit. I will say I'm recording this a little bit earlier than I'm used to, like, recording. Uh, I'm definitely more of a night owl, and recording this... Ah, we didn't get it. 
As your monsters gain experience, you increase in level, you get skills, there's a skill tree. I'll show you guys that now. Um, so that you can just pick a, pick a move. Um, I'm gonna go with the Lightning Bolt level two. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm much more of a Night Owl. It's easy for me to stay up till like two, three in the morning. Uh, we'll have to come back for that later. You can break the crack in the wall. Or there's a hidden room back there. Um, you just find another store monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monsters already? You can make them your monsters strong by equipping them. Yeah, I know. The Kuna. Oh, ouch. Bust my head on that thing. Take the hide. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna double back real quick. I'm gonna double back and see if he respawned. Did you? Did you? Did you? No. Sadness. I was gonna see Rocky. What would that? Uh, but yeah, I, I'm definitely not a morning person. I can I can easily stay up till uh, two, three in the morning. Um, hey, fellow keeper, did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? You can use your familiar's ability to fly to that chest up there. I wonder who already did that. All right, we'll fight these guys. Why not? Because we gotta get some levels. Um, I keep getting off track. Um, so I'm recording this about ten, between ten thirty and eleven this morning. So hopefully, like my voice and like I don't sound too tired. Um, I definitely haven't had my coffee yet either. I've got it like right in front of me actually. Um, da -da 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 -da. Coffee. We love coffee. That's one thing that you guys will probably end up just if I have a video going up I have a cup of coffee with me I mean it's just what I do I consume way too much coffee way too much caffeine but you know it's it's my vice one of my many vices all right we got a Vero egg interesting interesting that is the other little bird um, I'll hatch it why not you guys get to see the monster it's a kilo guy he's just he's just hanging um, What's a nickname for you? How about... I'm, I'm gonna pull some names that I would do in like a Pokemon Nuzlocke as well for bird types. How about... Horizon. I like that. Ha ha! So now we have two birds. It's interesting how that happened. But it's okay. Um, I'm gonna give you the bubble burst and then horizon here i'm gonna give horizon the air sickle because why not all right let's roll i think there's is the yeti over here no but another piece of lore man prospered through generations found as cities and nations connected by dirt and wheel and later by steam and steel so you got a little bit of like a civilization cultivation thing happening there now there's another monster up there uh, you only got to solve, you only got to see him for like a split second, so you might want to pause and um, if you're really curious, like you can probably play it back and pause it uh, so you can get a better look at him. I forget the name of that monster, but um, yeah, he's he's one that we'll be able to try to hunt down later. Um, they're pretty cool. They're pretty unique looking dudes. So uh, I know this way is the keeper's trail, so. Wee. Or the Keeper's Trial, whatever it's going to be later on. Three Vero. Interesting. That kind of sounds like a name of a car. Like, I don't know. Get the Nissan Vero. Whatever you call it. Bill Manel, it's like swords. Yeah. So we're actually not doing too bad on time. We're at about 15 minutes. So we got we still got like another 10 minutes for this episode, so we'll definitely keep going. Man, I would really love to wrap this up with a Rocky on our team. I I don't know if it's gonna happen, I don't know where the next one will show up. But uh If we can get one, I will I will get one. I will get one eventually. I will I'll say right now, if we don't get one by the time this episode is over. Um, I will definitely go ahead and just snag one since you guys have already seen it in a video. You already know what it is So 
I'll definitely just run back and grind until I get one. So that we don't have to waste too much time during another episode. That's what that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Three stars, a walnut. Yeah, you can feed your monsters uh, food and stuff. It's usually just fruit. But uh, nonetheless, it's kind of cool. Alright. Man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond. Yet for the treasures within he longed, for the greed of kings was great. So I'm assuming that means, like, even though they were civilized and cultivated, they wanted more. And because of the, the greed, bad things happened. <gasps> it's all bubble, bro. Alright, we got two magma pillars as well. I mean, honestly, all of these monsters are great. Um, the, the magma pillar and the, uh, the magma pillar and Rocky, they're both good. Like, I would put both of them on my team. 100%. So, we'll see what we get. We'll see what happens. There's definitely monsters in this game where I'm like, eh, like, you're cool. But I don't know if I definitely need you on my team. So there, there's going to be some where I'll probably obtain them at some point. Um, I just don't know if I'll use them. And you'll see them later. You'll definitely see them later. Um, what do I want to do here? Hmm, how about we... What did I just do? There we go. Had a brain fart right there. Just like I forgot the controls for a second. I just thought I would attack. The the style, the art, dude. I I just I love it. Just just the the animations, the the pixel kind of style. It's just really nice. It's just really nice. Cool. Four stars. The magma pillar. Okay, okay, that's okay. That's okay. We will definitely take the magma pillar. Um, no problem. We'll definitely take it. Because it is a really good monster to have early on. So magma pillar. Um, little little fire caterpillar thing here. Um, I'm going to call it... Himla, 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 himla. Summon of the powers to be. I don't know. Let's call it. Cinder Bug. Ha ha. Alright, we got some skills. Uh, Kaka, you're gonna take the initial shock. Which is, uh, I should I should probably pause and let you guys be able to see what it says. Which actually, I think you can see it on the OBS. So that hopefully is all good to go. Um, the initial so shock, apply shock debuff on a random enemy at the start of combat. So essentially they get paralyzed right at the beginning and I don't have to do anything. It just happens. Which is really nice. It gives us an advantage. Uh, I'm going to give Cinderbug the shield. And then I thought there was another one. Is that the one that it is? Or is it... Yeah, it's this one, the Burning Desire. So when I use the Ignite and burn them, we all get shield. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, we got some more stuff down here. I think in between... Well, actually, you know what? Ooh, another Rocky. Alright, this is the moment. We gotta get Rocky. This is the moment. This is the moment. I should have brought out uh, Magma Pillar, though. Should have, would have made this a little easier. That's okay, though. <clears throat> that is A-okay. Actually, there's two blobs, so Air Circle is really nice. Douche. That was a crit. Uh, when it's when when the numbers are big and yellow like that, it means it's a crit. It's a big damage. Let's go. We'll take it. Leaf slash. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. We don't want no paper cuss. Let's go. Yeah, hopefully everything is uh it's going okay. I think uh it's I'll check my phone real quick. It's uh, it is Saturday at the time of recording this, so I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, I definitely am. I haven't gotten into anything too crazy yet. I mean, this is recording this and 
getting it published is kind of like the only real thing on my agenda today. So the weather's been good. Can't complain about the weather. I uh, I went for a pretty pretty big walk yesterday. It was about uh, like I don't know two and three fourths of a mile, something like that. So definitely trying to take it a little easier today, though. I don't. I'm not a cardio guy, so. <laughs> the long walk yesterday kind of wore me down, um, but who knows if it's like if it's uh, it's 75 right now according to my computer. So, like you know, if it's nice enough, then I might go outside and just breathe, get 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 out there and get some nature immersion or something. You know, I also play Pokemon Go, so it's like you know, there's that another blob egg. We didn't get the rocky egg. That's okay. I'll mess with the skills later, I think. Um, unless we get to that spot that I'm thinking of. Man plunged into deepest abyss, foraged, attack, and slew. These endeavors were without solace, the cost of humanity. No one knew. Nobody knew. I can read. Oh, I can read. Alright, I'll just I'll do this real quick. Uh, I'm going to go with the... Hmm... I'm gonna go with the slime shot. I think that's okay. And then on horizon, let's go with we already have air sickle. So I think we'll just increase the damage of air sickle. We'll call it good. An impact ring. Um actually, is this the burn spot? I think this is the burn spot. So let me Go ahead and swap monsters. Do you do the thing that I think you're going to do, buddy? Um, yeah. Ha ha. 150 gold, a red gem. Very nice, very nice. We appreciate, we appreciate. We'll have to get a key for that door later. Phoenix Tears, I believe those revitalize a downed monster. And I will say, I'm familiar with Pokemon Nuzlocke and everything, so if, if anyone who's watching this is, like, thinking about Nuzlocke or anything like that, like, this is not that kind of playthrough. Um, not at all. Are these three Rockies? Please tell me they're three Rockies. Let's go. The odds of getting a Rocky have never been higher. We must act now. <laughs> uh, choose monsters. I'm going to go with Glorp, Kaka, and Cinderbun. And we are going to go for it and we're gonna win and it's gonna be great and we're gonna get a rocky um you know what I'm gonna go with ignite first oh, I thought the shield would proc on that oh there's the shield okay so when they take the burn damage that's when we get a little bit of a shield so the idea as the magma pillar um, little cinder bug there um, the job is to like burn everybody so that you get lots of free shield. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the arcane bolt on this guy. And then I will explosion. Yeah, why not? Explosion the one in the middle. He's not burned, so we'll just get him out. There we go. Free shield. The strats. Gotta soften that Rocky up a little bit more. So he'll actually be done with burn. So I'm gonna go with this guy. We'll finish that guy off, and then the other one will boop to burn. We're good, we win. Four stars. Come on. The game really just doesn't want me to have a Rocky, dude. This is rigged. Mm. Excuse me while I take a sip of coffee. It's good for the throat. Oh, hello. Who are you? Certain monsters can destroy hidden uh, walls or items like the one behind me. Oh, a monster with a physical ability? I actually don't know of any of our monsters. Activates water orbs, levitates, levitates, and... No. I am Magma Pillar does... Do, or Cinder Bug, as we named them. We got a Magnana. We, have, so we, need, a, we need a monster that can cut walls. I do know of one in this zone, but uh, we probably won't actually find that today. It'll have to be in, uh, in a future episode. 
I can't believe I didn't get the Rocky though. I th thought for sure that I was going to get it right there. Ah, but this is right up our alley. Oh, actually, there he is. <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> I didn't think we were going to find him. Cat Zerker. Okay, so one thing I will mention below my webcam, just like right here, you can see the Cat Zerker screen. And you can see there's an up arrow, a red up arrow, and then a leaf next to it. Meaning that Cat Zerker is weak to Earth. I think that's the symbol for Earth type attacks. And he has wind type attacks. So when we choose monsters, we want to make sure we choose monsters that are not uh, weak to wind. So uh, Glorp will not be in this fight. But that's that's essentially the uh, the breakdown for you. Just so that you know. Like, in, in my brain already knows how it works. So it's like, I'm not going to worry about... Like, I know, I know what to do, essentially. Right. I just... In my haste and excitement, I forget to tell you guys what's up. Because that's one of the things the game's not necessarily saying. But yeah, if we get one of these on our team, then we can go back and do the thing. They're pretty cool. Physical attacker, um, obviously the sword. Um, pretty, pretty cool. It has like the different... Has more elemental diversity. I guess I'll say it that way. Has has varying elemental moves. I know at one point there's like a flaming sword attack on him and things like that. So it's like it can it can, it can be cool. It can be cool. He can hang. He can hang. But we'll probably wrap it up after this fight, actually, um, because we're about to hit that that marker, and I don't want to go over that. So in between episodes, I will probably go get a Rocky um, just so that we have one. Because uh, I really do want to showcase one in this playthrough. Like out of all out of all monsters that I've used in a playthrough, he's he's one. So, all right, that fight is done. How do we do? Three stars, Ooh, no egg. That's fine. That is fine. We'll grab this item, a walnut. Very good. Um, I guess the last thing I will do um, real quick. We'll hop down here. Magma pillars. Okay. Um, well then, we'll hang out right here for right now. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to do, uh, we'll, we'll do the skills real quick. Um, let me give you mana plus, it gives you more power. Um, go to Horizon, doesn't have one, Kaka has one. So how about we give Kaka? Um, uh, not Featherstorm. I think we'll go with Explosion level 2. Cinderbug, let's go with the Ignite level 2, and that's it. So the only other thing that I need to do is the equipment, but I think I'll actually save the equipment. I'll show you the equipment screen. All the monsters have a wooden stick to start. Uh, it's like their basic attacking weapon, and then you can see that the items that we've picked up have boosts that we can give to our monsters, but I will, I'm going to worry about more of that set up and stuff in the next episode and then I'll just kind of show you at the start of the next episode what I've equipped on certain monsters and kind of do a, a quick explanation as to why um, but I'm not going to worry about doing that in this episode uh, just for sake of time um, so yeah I think this is a, a great place to pause it like I said in between episodes I will go ahead and get a Rocky on our team and I'll, I'll show you the, the um, I'll show you that um, monster as well at the beginning of the next episode uh, but for now I hope you did enjoy this episode um, it's like I said one of my favorite games I can't I can't wait to really dive into the game and show off all the different creatures and all the different areas and all the different zones and things like that so if you're excited for it I hope you come back and keep watching the series um, along with me episodes will be going up pretty much daily because I think there's gonna be a lot of episodes and because of that, I think that we can we can crank out one episode a day um, until the series is done. So I hope to see you um, all the time. Uh, if you if you're familiar with this game and there's monsters that you want to see or monsters you're excited about, you can go ahead and let me know down in the comments. I'll do my best to find them and uh, showcase them in one episode. And uh, if I see the comment saying what monster and you know your recommendations and, th and things like that. I will definitely try to remember your name and say like so and so mention mentions this monster and things like that so you'll get a little bit of a shout out as my way of saying thanks for
commenting and being actively involved in the series. So, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, your Saturday, and I'll see you in the next episode. Later.